Who do we want? To? So we got Kevin in Nashville. Hello. Kevin. How are you, Kevin? Hi. All right. How are you guys? We're fine. Hey, hey. Uh, you know, I've heard you say bad things about Pat Robertson. Yes. Because of, because of his comments, but I mean, you read the Old Testament. Yes. And you read <laughs> about one right Sodom and Gomorrah and the Great Flood. Mm-hmm. That was pretty pretty nasty stuff. Mm-hmm. So it's really just a little extrapolation he's doing, isn't it? Well, if you believe that crap, you'll believe you know the occasional earthquake or. Hurricane. Oh, I'm not saying. I'd oh, never yeah. say that Pat is being inconsistent with his theology. I'm saying he's a dick. Yeah, I mean it's just. <laughs> <laughs> I mean he and he's consistently a dick. Yeah. Yeah. It, well, I agree it, with that, and that's. I mean that's I, that's. You, do, you can see his point. You can see his point of view. Um, um. I can see it in the same way that I can see a mass murderer's point of view. Yeah. It's a yeah. sick and twisted mind that's doing something that it shouldn't be doing. Mm. It's he's desperately in need of help, and, the, and at this point, the only help I think he can get would be to go ahead and kick the bucket. Mm. <laughs> Seventy-six. I mean, it's past time anyway. Okay. Um. Oh. All right. That's all I wanted to say. <laughs> yeah. Now, well, 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 we talk about you know people, uh, you know, uh, saying things that are uh, rude, insensitive, hateful, wrong, whatever. It's when you take your particular religious view and say, look, you guys made a pact uh, with the devil and now God's coming to get you. And that's, it's just, yeah, it's, cons- it's internally consistent, uh, but it has no corollary in reality. <laughs> We're touching back on Ryan's call earlier. Yeah. This, is, this is what happens when too many of your beliefs are no longer consistent with reality. Um, and last week on the show and yesterday we talked about, so I'm not going to hammer out too much, uh, Brett Humid made comments uh, about Tiger Woods, saying mm-hmm. he's a Buddhist, and, and I don't think that faith has the kind of forgiveness that he needs. So, Tiger, I'd recommend that you become a Christian. To me, that's almost as bad as what Pat Robertson said. Right, because no Christians ever cheat on their wives. Oh, well, <laughs> the, the, you know, yeah. it's, you know yeah. the only reason it's not quite as bad is because he's, he's yeah. perhaps just going after one person. But I'll say this, Britt Hume's correct in a different sense, and I mentioned it yesterday, and that is that from the public's perspective, there's nothing better that Tiger could do than apologize and say he found Jesus. All of a sudden, the entire scandal's forgiven. That mm-hmm. is within the culture of the United States, where you've got predominantly Christian, um, finding Jesus is your get out of jail free card. Mm-hmm. It, and that's that's in the, in that sense, Hume was right. Uh, uh, I even hate calling him Hume because it disparages <laughs> the memory of better Humes. But yeah, it's just like uh, but. Uh, Hume's statement was just like Ryan's claim about uh, the million dollars in the closet, right? Well, how, how can Brit Hume know? That, yeah. uh, I mean, how, can, how is that testable at all? That was just uh, one of those many, many statements that uh, you know, religionists make uh, that are smug, but not based on anything. But they just don't care because it's, it, it jibes with what everyone else already believes. Um, but you're right. You know, the whole get out of jail free card, that's, uh, you know, that's not a figure of speech. I mean, if you're in jail and yeah. you do religious training, you get time served for that. Yeah. Yes, because it's, apparently, so that. All right, Kevin, we're gonna we're gonna see how many calls we can get through today, okay. and see how all many right, of thanks. them. Thanks, thank you. Appreciate it.